Thoroughbred Action is presented by Hardacre Farm. Welcome to Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. I'm your host, Acacia Courtney. It's the last installment of the Florida Sire Stakes. We have 13 races on the card today, eight stakes, including two $500,000 stakes to see if three rules and Cajun Delta Dawn can continue undefeated. Let's get right to the track and weather conditions. The track is muddy and the turf is good to start the day. It's Florida Sire Stakes Day. Race number one is one mile. It is off the turf, a maiden claiming when the purse is $25,000 for three-year-olds and up. The nine traffic express will be ridden by Carlos Hernandez. Scratch the 14 scattered gold. Racing at Gulfstream. Casby's kid was off slowly. Quick start for Cuban Cowboy, who reaches out for the lead from the far outside. Absolute Pinnacle is showing speed. Moving along the inside, Moscow Miss comes away in the top flight and poking between horses to take the lead as Hope is Rising. They exit the one-mile shoot with Hope is Rising. The target leads at three parts of a length. Cuban Cowboy is second. Absolute Pinnacle is third. Daddy Duke between horses. Alongside Daddy Duke and moving closer is Traffic Express. Two lengths back to the inside, Dreaming of DeWild. Then in between horses, it's my Valentino. Casby's kid was off slowly, but is now only four lengths off the lead, a length clear of Gunther Brothers, then Moscow Miss and Triple Sirius. The two at the back are my What About Me and Stay and Cruise. Down the back stretch they go after completing a quarter in 23 and four. With the lead now, Cuban Cowboy from in between horses through a 47 and one half mile, immediately tackled by Absolute Pinnacle on the outside. Daddy Duke is in range from fourth and hits my Valentino needs room bad. Traffic Express between horses, two better than Casby's kid. Running on at the rail is Dreamin' of DeWild then Gunther Brothers with 5 16ths to go. Whip out on Cuban Cowboy. Absolute Pinnacle, the leader. From second now is Cuban Cowboy. From third and Daddy Duke. Dreaming of the Wild Circles. Five wide on the outside. By three quarters and one twelve and four. They turn home. Daddy Duke keeps coming at Absolute Pinnacle who took the lead. Down the center and Dreaming of the Wild with Cuban Cowboy. There's an eighth of a mile to go. And the leader is Absolute Pinnacle. Drifting to the center of the course but maintaining a two-length lead. Daddy Duke at that one pace for second. Then it's my Valentino. Traffic Express and Dream It of the Wild, but the winner is Absolute Pinnacle by three. Daddy Duke second, Traffic Express third, It's My Valentino fourth, and Dream It of the Wild to complete the high five in 140 flat. Number 13, Absolute Pinnacle comes in off the main track only list, ridden to victory by Edgar Zayas, trained by Fernando Abreu, and owned by Shirley Hart. It's the jockey of the meet. Congratulations to Tyler Gaffleone. Race number two is one mile on the main track. It's the second running of the Florida Sire Stakes Meadow Star Division, $150,000 for the three-year-old Phillies. They're off in the Meadow Star. Ballet Diva and our Kinsley Doll, the two favorites, hit the ground running toward the inside. Our Quick Temper is being sent hard by Lane Luzzi. Our Quick Temper wants to inject more pace into the race with Ballet Diva and Edgar Zayas leading the way as they run out of the chute. From fourth now, that's cross Silent Prayer, and at the back, she's incredible. Ballet Diva leads out of the one-mile chute. Our Quick Temper intent on trying to harass Ballet Diva, and our Quick Temper through a 23-3 and three opening quarter time wants to quicken the tempo and leads the way three parts of a length. Edgar Zayas will defer with Ballet Diva, who's now racing in second. Flanking her on the outside is our Kinsley Doll. She's incredible, is on the far outside and up the inside Silent Prayer. The entire field separated by two and a half lengths in the run to the half mile pole. Our quick temper still there, but Ballet Diva back for more past the half mile in 47 and one. It's been a good setup for our Kinsley Doll. She's flanking the leader now and racing into second from She's Incredible, who's had pace to chase from fourth. She's now into third and racing up from the back is Silent Prayer. Anybody's race is Ballet Diva, the first to be committed for home. Ballet Diva, a tenuous head in front. Our Kinsley Doll right alongside second. She's incredible works three wide third. Silent Prayer is back fourth and four lengths off the lead through a three-quarter time of 111 and four. They turn for the money. Whip out on everybody. She's incredible coming over the top, trying to catch the two favorites. And she's incredible with momentum and with the lead. Back to second is Ballet Diva, then our Kinsley Doll and Silent Prayer through the final furlong. Six to one the price. And she's incredible. Will spring the upset in the Meadow Star. She's incredible. Going away. Silent Prayer got up for second from Arkinsley Doll third and fourth Ballet Diva at 137 and three. Number three, She's Incredible breaks her maiden in the Meadow Star. $14.40 winner, and that's 2 4 trainer Fernando Abreu, written to victory by Jesus Rios and owned by our Sugar Bear Stable. 
Let's take a break. We'll be back after these words. Race three is one mile on the turf, the third running of the $75,000 The Armed Forces for the two-year-olds. There are eight runners heading to the gate. And they're off in the Armed Forces. From the center, Sonic Mule gets the first call. Ink Spired is showing speed. From the rail, Sweet on the Ladies comes away in the top flight. And Jamalister Sister trying to drop over toward the inside. Exclusively ours rides the rail. They're followed by Cinderella L. Chrome. And the two at the back are outside running Whiskey Train and rail running Unbridled Holiday. Around the first turn they go. Sweet on the Ladies will dictate the terms by a length and a quarter. Ink Spired is second. Sonic Mule is third. Jamalagister is racing in fourth, two and a half lengths off the lead and two better than exclusively ours. Followed inside by Cinderella L. Chrome. Second last is our outside running Whiskey Train. Trailing the field is Unbridled Holiday. Through the opening quarter in 24 and three, down the back stretch they go. Eight to five favorite Sweet on the Ladies. Leads at three parts of a length. Inkspired turns up the pressure from second. Sonic Mule is third. Jamologister is on his outside. Then back fifth is exclusively ours. A length and a half clear of Cinderella L. Chrome. Whiskey Train is second last and six lengths behind and nothing yet from unbridled holiday as they take it around the far turn they went through the opening half mob in 49 and two and with the lead it's still sweet on the ladies by a neck out three wide jamologister comes to call from second ink spired between horses sonic mule is fourth exclusively ours is fifth and whiskey train inside to cinderella l chrome and unbridled holiday is the trailer and jamologister just took the lead three quarters 114 and one may turn home jamologister set down driving by eddie Cal and widens on a three-length lead. Whiskey Train splitting horses now into second toward the outside in Sonic Mule. Here's Whiskey Train and Sonic Mule closing at Jamologister. Whiskey Train, Sonic Mule. Whiskey Train and Sonic Mule. Whiskey Train just in front. Whiskey Train. Whiskey Train springs the upset to win the Armed Forces in 140 flat. Number six, Whiskey Train upsets at odds of 23 to 1, ridden by Luis Castillo, trained by Laura Cazares, and owned by Road Trip Racing, paid 49.20 to win. The fourth race is six furlongs on the main track and made in special weight with a purse of $50,000 for the two-year-olds. Scratch the one Grand Chief and the seven One Proud Wildcat. And they're off. Fat check missed the break three lengths. From the inside, Ramcat wins the start. Duel at dusk up on the outside. These two get acquainted, and they've gone two lengths clear of the team of Lionheart Legend and Arpanella. Up on the outside, races all hands up. Bluegrass Envy down toward the inside. It's a stretch of another five to Erisythe. Second last is Siki, and after making a mess of the start, Fact Check tries to play catch up in the run past the half mile pole. Cornelia Velasquez and Ramcat lead by an Eck. From the outside and moving in second is Duel at dusk. From third and tacking on nicely is Arpanella. Racing from fourth is is Lionheart Legend in range only about three lengths behind. Then Erisythe, Edgar Zayas, and Fact Check begin to progress. All up the inside in Bluegrass Envy, followed by All Hands Up, and trailing the field is Siki. There's a quarter of a mile left to go. Still many chances. Ramcat, the one to beat. Ramcat turns for home with the lead. Here's Erisythe moving to be second and trying to run on his Fact Check from third. Up the fence in Bluegrass Envy as they straighten for home. Erisythe up on the outside of Ramcat, and Erisythe now takes the lead. Fact Check is now running on to try to get into second from Ramcat, then Bluegrass Envy, but in deep stretch, it's Erisythe and Jesus Rios kicking away. Erisythe winning by three lengths. Fact check second, Ramcat third, Bluegrass Envy fourth in front of Duel at Dusk in 112 and two. Number four, first time starter Arasif wins the fourth race. Ridden by Jesus Rios for his second win today. Trained by Antonio Sano and owned by Magic Stables. Race number five is one mile on the turf. It's the third running of the $75,000 Mr. Steel for the three-year-olds and up. Scratch the nine, we're all set, and the 10 bullet gone astray. And they're off in the Mr. Steel. 
was a good start for Air Bueno and a good start for Diamond Bachelor. From between horses, coping away will race from third, then best plan yet. Along the rail goes Simferopol with Savoy Stomp on his outside. Good and Proper settles in second last, and the early trailer is the stretch runner, Enterprising. Around the first turn they go, Diamond Bachelor and Lane Luzzi loose on a two-and-a-half length lead. Air Bueno and Matt Rispoli race from second. From third, it's coping away on hold for Castro, about four-and-a-half off the leader. Then comes best plan yet in Savoy Stomp, two clear of Simferopol. Up on his outside goes good and proper, and in no hurry at the back is Enterprising through an opening quarter in a 23-4. and four. Fast fraction being set by Diamond Bachelor, who's allowed to roll up top. Diamond Bachelor bumps the margin to six. From second, that's Air Bueno, a length and a half clear of coping away third. Best plan yet is fourth. They're stringing out even further behind him, about four lengths to Savoy Stomp. Then comes good and proper. Out of last is Enterprising. He has a lot of ground to make up, but he is starting to launch an attack and trailing the field is Simferopol. Around the far turn they go with the lead. It's still Diamond Bachelor for, for 47 and two opening half mile, but Air Bueno getting to him stride by stride. Second, three better than coping away third. Enterprising tacks on while fourth still in the hunt here as they move to the top of the stretch with the lead. Diamond Bachelor trying to find a second wind after three quarters in 112 flat. Diamond Bachelor turns first with the lead. From second, it's Air Bueno. From third, it's coping away, then Enterprising. Three sixteenths to go now. Shadow Roll just dropped on Diamond Bachelor, but he's holding firm. Air Bueno is second. Enterprising up the inside third. Air Bueno keeps coming at Diamond Bachelor. Diamond Bachelor digging in. Diamond Bachelor, gate to wire. Second Air Bueno, third Enterprising, fourth coping away, then good and proper in Savoy's stomp in 136 and four. Number two, Diamond Bachelor got loose on the lead and won the Mr. Steel. Ridden to victory by Lane Luzzi, trained by Patrick Biancone and owned by Diamond 100 Racing Club, Robert Trussell and Patrick Biancone. Race number six is one mile on the main track. It's the second running of the Florida Sire Stakes Foolish Pleasure Division. $150,000 for Colts and Gelding, the three-year-olds. There are eight runners heading to the gate. They're off in the Foolish Pleasure. Mr. Kisses gets the first call. The favorite awesome banner was away well from the far outside call to honor is showing speed. And here's Danbury moving up as they exit the one mile shoot. Lining up for the lead behind Mr. Kisses who puts ahead in front. Awesome banner is quicker though and he'll now take the lead. On the far outside it's call to honor and from between them Danbury. These four across the track. They work two lengths better than Dangerous Bend. Then at the rail goes Minute Madness. The two at the back are Brighton Lane and Dream of Me. Down the back stretch they go. Mr. Kisses once again tussles for the front and now he takes over three parts of a length. In the three path is Tyler Gaffleone and Awesome Banner. From between horses, Danbury. Edgar Zayas has moved dangerous bend into contention while fourth behind the speed. Two better than Call to Honor who's lost a bit of ground. Dream of me progressing on the inside of Minute Madness and Brighton Lane is last. 46 and 2 for the opening half mile. They sped it up big time in the second quarter as they went 22 and 2 in the in, in second quarter. With the lead, Mr. Kisses from Awesome Banner who bids up on the outside, second at the 5 16ths, and Awesome Banner makes a bid for the front. It's four lengths back to the outside, Dangerous Ben Danbury along the rail, three lengths clear of Minute Madness as they run for home. Mr. Kisses is not done fighting after three quarters and one ten and two. He's right back to even terms with Awesome Banner on the outside. They're shoulder to shoulder with an eighth of a mile to go in the Foolish Pleasure. This is a horse race. On the outside, it's Awesome Banner. Toward the inside, Mr. Kisses. Mr. Kisses ahead in front. Awesome Banner tries to get back on turn. Awesome Banner puts a head in front. Awesome Banner! Awesome Banner had to fight for every yard, but he got up to win from Mr. Kiss's second, third minute madness, then dangerous band at 136 and four. Number seven, Awesome Banner prevails in a tight photo finish ridden by Tyler Gaffleone, trained by Mark Cassie and owned by Jaxer Better Farm. It's time for a break. We'll be back after these words. for horses and a commitment to breed champions is the foundation of Hardacre Farm. 
Founded in 1999 by Amy Tarrant, owner, breeder, and trainer, Hardacre Farm, now based in Ocala, continues its tradition of success. From the Breeders' Cup to Gulfstream Park, Hardacre Farm. From the breeding shed to the racetrack. In pursuit of producing the best. Race number seven is one mile on the turf. It's the third running of our dear Peggy, $75,000 for the two-year-old Phillies. And they're off in the Our Dear Peggy Stakes. From the rail, Clouded Appeal gets the first call from Cali, California, who moves up on the outside. Backstage is a bit keen and fighting the rider between horses. Down toward the inside, that's Creative Talent. A bit wide through the initial stages is Devilish Romance. Martha's Valentine now punches between horses. In between horses as well and trying to move forward is both Wedding Jitters and Southern Sis. Bahama Halo down toward the inside as they run around the first turn. Emerging on top, Creative Talent, three parts of a length. Cali, California there second. Backstage still a bit keen, Settled better now third from Martha's Valentine in fourth. Up the inside and now fifth is Clouded Appeal, followed by Devilish Romance out wide. Riding to rail into contention, Bahama Halo. Then comes Wedding Jitters. She's about four and a half lengths off a compact field. Silver Diva's on her outside. And Southern Sis put into the four path to try to rally. She's at the back of the pack about six lengths behind. They went through the opening quarter mile in 23 and one. There's less than half a mile to go through the opening half mile in 48 and two. On top, Creative Talent, three parts of a length. Cali, California there, second backstage. Still there for third now, and on the outside, here's Devilish Romance picking it up. Three wide into fourth. In between horses goes Martha's Valentine with Clouded Appeal along the rail. Followed inside by Bahama Halo. She stopped cold with still Silver Diva revving it up on the outside as they run to the top of the stretch. Still many, many chances with the lead now. Devilish Romance bids up to take over. Backstage is still second. Silver Diva's third. Bahama Halo works between horses and making a late say. Down the center and Southern Sis, eighth of a mile to go. Bahama Halo coming after the leader, Devilish Romance. Silver Diva's still right there, and she just closed the hole on Bahama Halo. And Silver Diva's up for the lead. Silver Diva driven out by Gaffleone to win it. Second, Devilish Romance. Third, Bahama Halo. Then Wedding Jitters and Southern Sis in 138 and three. Number nine, Silver Diva makes it two wins today for jockey Tyler Gaffleone, trained by Ronnie Warner and owned by Arendelle. Race number eight is six furlongs on the main track, a maiden special weight with a purse of $50,000 for the two-year-old Phillies. Please note that the main track is now listed as good. And they're off. Toward the inside, my Lurler begins the best and tries to clear the field early, and she does from our way to escape, who comes away racing in second. Up on the outside, Shaq's legacy is now third, and here's the gray. Keep your distance moving up. Keep your distance all the way up into second now. Moving up on the far outside is Sip your Chardonnay. Then in between horses goes Hello Moon, and at the rail, working Carol Kay. It's a stretch of another two to Bossy Alexandra with loving Valentina, and Serenity Moon is last. They move into the far turn, chasing the speed of My Lurler and Carlos Olivero. They lead it by a length and a quarter. In second and clearly second. Keep your distance, who's gone three lengths ahead of our way to escape, who's now third. From the outside, one more kiss is fourth and working Carol Kay. And on the outside, trying to start a rally here is Sip by Chardonnay as they run for home. On top, My Lurler by two and a half. From second, keep your distance. It's a distance of five or six to our way to escape. And Sip by Chardonnay through the final furlong, My Lurler still up top with a three-length lead. Clearly second, keep your distance. Our way to escape, then sip my Chardonnay. -nay. To the wire, my Lurler and Carlos Olivero, a nine-to-one winner. They won it by two. Second was keep your distance. Third was our way to escape. And completing the super, sip my Chardonnay -nay. in 111 and three. Number three, my Lurler kicks off the Rainbow Six at odds of nine-to-one, ridden by Carlos Olivero, trained by Antonio Trophy and owned by Just For Fun Stable. Congratulations to the trainer of the meet, Antonio Sano. Race number nine is seven and a half furlongs on the turf, a maiden special weight, and the purse is $50,000 for the two-year-olds. Scratch the two, six, seven, and 11. The number one American rocket will be ridden by Miguel Vasquez. And they're off. 
A rocket beginning for Dynamic Dancer, who establishes control already. Meanwhile, Annie's big boy was off a step slow. Moving to be second early is Southern Sea, with San Filippo on the outside, now third. These three have gone two and a half lengths better than Union Brass, who drops over to save ground and race on from fourth. Then it's another two lengths back to Hat in the Ring, mid-flight for Valdivia, about six behind. A length and a half clear of the team of Contormar and KLS 43. It's a gap of four to the two at the back. They include American Rocket and Annie's big boy. Into the back stretch they go, and Dynamic Dancer is keyed up, wanting to go back on top, but landing on top is Southern Sea. Southern Sea and Nick Juarez with the lead. San Filippo moves up on the outside to be second. Dynamic Dancer's a bit better to handle. He's third while under restraint. From fourth and two and a half off the lead is Union Brass. Following him is Hat in the Ring, then out wide, but a progressing KLS 43 in front of Contamar. And the two continuing at the back are American Rocket and Annie's Big Boy. The opening quarter was 24 and 4 controlled seconds then the half mile went in 50 and one up top southern sea tries to repel every challenge leads at three parts of a length san filippo is second moving up on the outside and now taking on third is union brass from fourth dynamic dancer he'll need a way through pricing on from fifth is hat in the ring four lengths better than con tomorrow and then kls 43 as they turn for the money southern sea and nick juarez the first to turn for home with a length and a half to work with san filippo is their second union brass to the outside is third and hat in the ring is tossing his hat in the ring while a bit green shifting ground through the final furlong Southern Sea still there here's Union Brass grinding it up on the outside for Gaffleone and Union Brass takes charge to win it San Filippo second Southern Sea third then hat in the ring and dynamic dancer fifth in 133 and one number 10 Union Brass wins the ninth race that's the third today for Tyler Gaffleone Ralph Nix the trainer owned by Box Stables Congratulations to the owner of the meet, PTK LLC. The 10th race today is the co-feature. It's a mile and a 16th on the main track. The 35th running of the Florida Sire Stakes $500,000 My Dear Girl Division. There are 13 runners heading to the gate, including undefeated Cajun Delta Dawn. And they're off in the 35th My Dear Girl. From the far outside, Cajun Delta Dawn trying to use her speed to cross over, and she's done it effectively. She's into the first turn, only three wide from the 13 post. At the rail and in front is Sweet Tooth Haven with Hello Juliet out of there in third. They're followed by Katero and Dude Fantasy. Grandma Maria is three wide, followed by Stop the Drama. Fleet Dude is in between horses, followed by Stormy Embrace, then Surprise Wedding. At the rail, Larry and Pearl's Lucy is third last. Second last is Katinka, and last of all is U.S. Diva. Into the back stretch they go with Sweet Tooth Haven and Edgar Zayas in front to half a length. Cajun Delta Dawn is second, Grandma Maria is third. Katira between horses, then at the rail it's Hello Juliet, followed by Dude Fantasy. Up on the outside races Fleet Dude, only about three and a half lengths off the lead, then Surprise Wedding and Stop the Drama. Stormy Embrace has dropped seven or eight off the lead, then Katinka, U.S. Divas out of last, and now the trailer is Larry and Pearl's Lucy. The opening quarter was 23 and four, the half mile was 48 and two and they move into the far turn. Juan Leva and Cajun Delta Dawn bidding up on the outside of Sweet Tooth Haven at the three furlong point. The whip is out on Fleet Dude in third, followed by Dude Fantasy. They're both in range, only a length and a half off the leader. Two and a half clear of Surprise Wedding, who starts to stoke the fires with a quarter of a mile left to go. Cajun Delta Dawn bidding for the sweep of the series at the top of the stretch with the lead. The whip is out on Fleet Dude second. Dude Fantasy tries to punch between horses and up on the outside, Surprise Wedding. They turn for home in the My Dear Girl. Cajun Delta Dawn fighting on and still has the lead to the attack. Dude Fantasy is coming after her. Down the center in Surprise Wedding. Here's Dude Fantasy to hit the lead on the outside in Surprise Wedding, but the My Dear Girl to Dude Fantasy. Dude Fantasy and Tyler Gaffleone win it from Surprise Wedding second, then Fleet Dude and Cajun Delta Dawn in 146 and one. Number five, Dude Fantasy wins the My Dear Girl. Four wins today for jockey Tyler Gaffleone. That's the second win today for trainer Ralph Nix. This one owned by Donald Disney. Race number 11 is one mile on the turf. It's the third running of the $75,000 Panama City. Four fillies and mares, three-year-olds and up. Scratch the eight, Sweetie Girl, the 12, Truth, and the main track only number 13, Untrue. And they're up. 
from the outside, Vendita begins the best with Daring Kathy moving right with her in the early stages. Kiss to Remember is away well for Juarez, racing third early. Followed by Pink Poppy between horses and Dad's Princess three wide. Then it's Susie B and Caboclo do Rio. Just de Sanimo third last, Determined Lady second last, and Killer Bird last of the ten as they run around the first turn. Vendita has the lead, pressed along by Daring Kathy in the two path, and Daring Kathy wants the lead. And what Daring Kathy wants, Daring Kathy gets. She leads it by a length and a half. Vendita second. Off the fence, Kiss to Remember is now third. That'll send Pink Poppy three wide. Dad's Princess reigned back by Cornelio Velasquez to race fifth behind the embattled pace setters. Stretch of another two to Susie B. Well spotted for Valdivia Jr., about six lengths off the lead. To her outside goes Caboclo Del Rio and Determined Lady, then Joss de Sanimo and Killer Bird. We're inside half a mile from home and on top, the leader, Daring Kathy, three parts of a length. Pink Poppy turning up the pressure in second. Kiss to remember still on hold while third, trying to pick a path from there. Then back to Dad's Princess who had to tap on the brakes as Kiss to remember had to tap on the brakes and then Valdivia took up Susie B. So a chain reaction there. Meanwhile, Joss de Sanimo and Panici save ground inside. Determined Lady is three wide on the outside. Caboclo do Rio is second last and trailing the field is Killer Bird as they run to the top of the stretch. Gaffleone working overtime on Daring Kathy and Pink Poppies on the attack from second. Off the cover now. Here comes a run from Kiss to Remember and Joss de Sanimo swung into full action by Luca Panici down the center. Here's Joss de Sanimo coming after Dad's Princess. Joss de Sanimo to take the lead. Back to second is Dad's Princess, then Pink Poppy and Kiss to Remember. Joss de Sanimo wins. Second is Dad's Princess, third is Pink Poppy and 136 and one. Number four, Justice Animo wins the 11th race, ridden by Luca Panici, trained by Mark Cassi and owned by Palm Beach Racing Partnership. Paid $17.80 to win. Let's take a break. We'll be back after these words. Next January, 12 horses, a million dollar buy-in for a $12 million purse. It is the world's richest race. It is the Pegasus World Cup. The 12th race today is the other co-feature, a mile and a 16th on the main track. The 35th running of the Florida Sire Stakes $500,000 in reality division. Four Colts and Geldings, the two-year-olds that are Florida Sire Stakes nominated. 12 runners heading to the gate, including undefeated free rules. A good start from the center for he's the one who gets the first call, but here's the heavy hitting favorite. Three rules from down toward the inside. He's offensive minded in his early stages. He takes the lead in the run to the first turn. He's the one who race from second and the great collection and Colby Hernandez come out of their third. Mr. Pinocchio is now fourth from Don't Come Knocking and Sunshine and Shadow. Love My Cotton is four wide. From behind the speed race, Western Journey and then to the inside front loaded. El Cacique is down toward the inside and about six lengths off the pace setter. Parked on his out Outside goes Ilmatic, and at the back of the pack, the trailer Legacy Azteca as they straighten for their backstretch run. On top, the leader three rules, nice and relaxed up front with a half-length advantage over He's the One through the opening quarter in 23 and three. Three wide is Sunshine and Shadow. The great collection has had a good run of it. He's down inside while fourth from Mr. Pinocchio in fifth. Then Love My Cotton and Don't Come Knocking. Western Journey between horses, Legacy Azteca four wide. Back to front loaded third last, second last is El Cacique, and trailing is Ilmatic. The opening half mile was 48 seconds flat, well within the scope of the leader three rules. He's let out a notch by Cornelio Velasquez and bumps the margin to two. Working hard while second is the great collection from the outside third, Sunshine and Shadow. Then he's the one and don't come knocking, but three rules is getting away up front. Three rules by three quarters in 112 and three. He's up top by five or six. The great collection is flat to the boards from second, then don't come knocking. From the back in front loaded, but at the top of the stretch, here's 
Florida bred perfection. Here's three rules on a nine-length lead inside the final furlong. Cornelio Velasquez and three rules with a ticket to the Breeders' Cup after a stylish victory in the end reality. Wrapped up and eight in top. Second, the great collection. The don't come knocking up third. Then front loaded, followed inside by sunshine and shadow and a time of 144 and three. One tick off, kiss a native stakes record. And number two, three rules, goes five for five and remains undefeated in the 12th race, winning by 10 lengths. Cornelio Velasquez in the saddle once again, trained by Jose Pynchon and owned by Shade Tree Thoroughbreds. The 13th and final race today in the last race of the Gulfstream Park meet is seven and a half furlongs on the turf, a maiden special weight purse of $50,000 for the two-year-old fillies. Scratch 13, 14, 15, and 16, all the also eligibles, and note that the five Aquamenai will be ridden by Colby Hernandez. And runners away. Good start inside for Ballyhoo Moon, who reaches out to take the early lead. Moving up on the outside is Checkout Gilda to be second. Checkout Gilda marching toward the lead. Then Bella Vincenza, who gets a good trail early behind the speed while third. Up on her outside goes Cotton Tuya into fourth. Back fifth is Debbie's Cute Ghost, and that's a length and a half to the team of Spring for More, ready to zap. And toward the rail, that's Dar Motivos. Dar Motivos about five or six lengths off the lead. Then comes Equemini to her inside, races Pacha Mancha. Beyond's way is second. And last and Silvera is last as they bend into the back stretch. Check out Gilda in the two path, Ballyhoo Moon along the rail through the opening quarter in 23 and 3. Bella Vincenzo is getting a great run of it. Third, about two and a half lengths off the lead, followed by Cotton Tuya. Trying to move forward from there is ready to zap under Cornelio Velasquez, about five lengths behind. Two clear of an improving Aquemini who has inside position for Colby Hernandez. She gets by Dear Morvatos, who's on the outside. Then it's a gap of another two lengths back to Pacho Mancha and Debbie cute ghost far outside beyond's way begins to move as they run around the far turn 47 and 3 for the opening half mile the leader is still ballyhoo moon battle vincenza comes alive three wide aquemini starts to hit her best stride she's rolling into fourth only two and a half lengths off the lead while looking to tip to the outside hernandez takes a look over his shoulder floats out cotton to you and comes on but he'll have to get to bella vincenza who turns first with the lead bella vincenza off the top of the turn by three aquemini is clearly second then cotton to you late run down the center from Debbie's cute ghost but through the final furlong Bella Vincenza and Luca Panici have it won. Bella Vincenza sharp in victory and four on top Aquemini second up for third Pacha Mancha then Debbie's cute ghost and Cotton to you to complete the high five in 132 and one. Number three Bella Vincenza wins the finale that's two today for jockey Luca Panici trained by Stanley Gold and owned by Pinnacle Racing Stable and Stein Racing. In the late pick five, five of five paid 845.65. Four of five paid 965. Super high five combination, three, five, six, seven, and 11 paid 8,745.60. In the pick six, six of six paid 6,293.34. That's it for today. We are dark the next few days. On Wednesday, we'll see you back. It's time for Gulfstream Park West. Hit the hay. I've been working all day, hit the hay, hit the hay, what do you say, hit the hay, hit the hay, hit the hay, hit the hay. Hit the hay. well I'm tired, let me tell you Jack, I'm so tired.